Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie, and if you're not new here, thank you so much for subscribing and coming back to watch another video of me talking about random crap that I love. I love watching favorite things videos that include like a book, a snack, a podcast, a fashion item, a few beauty items, and so just a sprinkling of a lot of different things. And so that is what this is going to be. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is nail polish because I think my two favorite things beauty related are nail polish and lipstick. And I have a few of both of those. The thing that I've been loving recently is um, a nail polish by Essie, which is their um, gel couture line. I'm sure most of you have already used it. I'm sure it's nothing new. It's been out for a little while now. I wanna tell you why I love it. This has become my replacement for my all time favorite nail brand ever. R.I.P. Formula X Sephora brand that went away last fall. I love that line. They just, I don't know what happened. They stopped making it. And at one point I said on my Instagram, like I might stop buying all other nail polishes and only buy this nail polish because it lasted well. They had every color and oh, I just loved it. And I've been trying to find something similar because to be honest with you, most nail polishes do not last on me very long. And I end up doing my nails. If I don't have a gel manicure on, I end up doing my nails like every two to three days, which I know is really annoying to a lot of people, but it's just it's just what I do. Some people will spend a lot of time on their hair or their makeup. I don't. I probably, and I can do my nails really quick too, so it's whatever. But this I have really loved, and there's a few reasons. The regular Essie nail line, just the regular straight up square bottles, I love their color assortment, but I hate their formula. The brush is too thin, things can be streaky, and my nails will chip maybe the same day that I put on the polish, if not the next day. I hate that this is like $11, um, and then you have to buy the top coat to go with it, which I think does work better if you use the top coat, which is just the white one. They last on my nails for, I would say, four to five days. But I'm an anal crazy nail person that if I get one chip, I get annoyed. And then I like, I know that the next ones are going to start chipping. So it's not like I'm just going to fix that one. I just rather fix them all. And I know that that's probably obnoxious and crazy, but that's just me and my preference. So this for anyone else would probably last a week. For me, I'm crazy four or five days but that's good for me. So I really like these. The one thing that I love about these is the brush. The brush is like so much larger than any normal um, nail polish brush and it's kind of oval shaped. So it's sort of like contours to your cuticle shape and you can almost go over your nail in like two swipes. I mean, it's good. I love it. The only thing is that I, and they seem to be coming out with more colors. I just want them to have even more colors. A few of the colors that I've been liking are this one, which is called Spool Me Over. And this is definitely more pink than like a typical ballet pink or a whitish pink. It's definitely like a light peachy pink, but I've really been liking this and it's very opaque. It goes on very nicely in two coats and I just really, really like this one. And what I'm wearing today is called Perfect Posture, this light blue. I normally don't like blue colors at all. I do like this one because it's a light, like white blue kind of. It could even be lighter for my taste. But I like it because the formula on this particular color is so good. This one lasts, I feel like, longer than some of the other ones. And this one goes on so opaque in almost one coat, but I do two, and I just love this one so much. And then the other one that I really love that I've posted on Instagram before is Caviar Bar, and it's really, really dark navy, and I really like this one. And so this is the top coat, which I really like. It dries pretty fast, and a lot of times I do my nails at night. I've never gotten like sheet marks or crazy lines or anything because it dries pretty fast. So I'm like literally putting this on and then jumping in bed, and it's it's not been bad to me. So I really... I really like that. So the next thing is a few lip products. Now, I recently discovered these, and I don't think that these are new. The Maybelline Baby Lips, like the lip balms, I never bought those before. I don't know why. But I saw these recently, which are the Color Balm Crayons. I saw these at Target, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I haven't seen these ones before. I'm actually wearing this pink one today. 
and this color is strawberry pop and it says that it's really hydrating feels really really nice and i love this i know a couple of my friends have mentioned like i want to wear like a bolder lip color but i'm kind of scared or i don't know how to jump into it and something like this you know you can do one light swipe of the color or like me where i'm like going on and like going over and over and over and over to really build it up see it even got a little bit brighter but this is really really hydrating here is strawberry pop this one right here which is called blush burst you guys this is such a good one i should have worn this one today actually i was wearing this in my youtube made me buy it video so i'll put it up here um this is probably one of my favorite like nude nudes and i don't mean like your lips but better nude i mean like nude because sometimes nudes can be too just a little too dead looking or whatever but this one is so pretty i absolutely love it and it feels fantastic i'm pretty impressed with these and they've kind of just become my favorite um they just feel so nice another similar product but a little bit different that i really like too that i've had for a long time and i bought a couple of colors recently is from pixie and it's the um shea butter lip balm now, I've loved these for a long time, but I just picked up this color recently and it made me think like, oh, I have a couple of these. Well, I have way more than I thought. I have a lot of these and I think there's maybe even one more color that I don't have. It's just sort of like a tinted lip balm, but these are tinted pretty nicely. So I won't show you all of these because I don't want this video to be forever long, but I do have the clear one, which is almost gone. I use this a lot at night. I really love this one. It's just a nice like all purpose, um, shea butter balm um, but these ones I really do like for summer because they're really comfortable and again like that Maybelline one this is something where you don't have to have a mirror you can just be at the pool and just be like and put it on and it just feels good it gives you a little pop of color when you have like nothing else on your face and I just really like it and so this one is called um, pixie pop and it's like a pinkish color so this is probably even these are a little bit more subtle than like this Maybelline one that I'm wearing. So this is really nice. This would be a nice way to sort of like slide into lip color if you are unsure. Um, and this one is called Coral Crush and it's just like a nice co corally color and I really like that one. And then this one is new and it's called Scarlet Sorbet and it's just sort of like a light cherry color. Um, so yeah, so if you are wanting to try uh, some bright lip colors but that are comfortable and aren't too opaque they're still a little sheer you can see your lips through I think that these would be a really good one to try okay so the next thing that I have is a random snack treat it's not really a snack but it's these um coffee rio coffee they're like coffee flavored caramels from Trader Joe and these are so good I'm actually like down to the end of this bag the thing that I love about these um my old boss Kurt shout out to Kurt used to buy these and all the time and that's how I discovered these and I was recently I hadn't bought them for years um and I was just at Trader Joe recently and was like oh my god I forgot about these I need to get these because I used to just like take a handful and put them at my desk and they're just that thing that sometimes you need something like gum or you just need something especially if you're like at your desk or you're at a computer and you're just doing something you just need something these actually last a good long time too because they're hard they're not a hard candy they are like a caramel but they're a hard caramel so um they're just really good and i'm not going to eat it right now because it will take me forever to go through but it's just a coffee flavored caramel and the cool thing is that you can have four of these for one point if you're on weight watchers and four of these will take you a pretty long time to go through so knock yourself out those are good okay the next thing that i've been loving is a bathing suit that i posted about on instagram and I have been wearing the heck out of it and I love it so much. It's from Athleta and it's this guy right here. So it's like a tankini style bathing suit. It has this cute little cutout in the back, which is really fun. Um, and then I got these bottoms to go with it. They also have it in reverse. So they have it with the black um, with white stripes if you want. So the top can be this, but I've really been loving it. So. The reason that I bought it was because I just kind of wanted like an easy, I have three young kids and I wanted something at the pool that like is easy for me to run around with them. And I have other bathing suits that I love too. I have a ton of bathing suits from J. Crew. J. Crew is like my favorite bathing suit 
line ever. Um, but I just thought, you know, I want something that I can just run around with my kids and not worry if like something's not tied right or whatever. And this has just been so great. And I love paddle boarding in the summer too and doing like some sporty outdoor stuff. And so this has been really great for that. And I just really love it. The only thing is I need to balance out how often I wear this because I already have what now looks like a tribal like tattoo on the back of my back because this has already left like a really good tan. Um, so for every time I wear this, I think I need to wear like a strapless bathing suit or something to just sort of even it out a little bit because I'm loving wearing one shoulder and off the shoulder stuff. And this is like a really high neckline and it's like, yeah, you're like committing to a very like high cut tan. Um, but I also got this one. They have it in like a shorter version. I saw the tag on because I haven't worn it yet. This one is actually reversible. And I really love that, so that's nice. Um, but both of these have like a light cup inside of it as well, so don't worry about the fact that it's white. Um, and it just gives you a nice shape. I just love it, it's one of my favorites. So another thing that I love that I've mentioned a couple of times, but I wanted to mention again because they are still available at Target, and I think that maybe you just need to take a moment and be like, she's mentioned this before, She's mentioning it again, and maybe I need to check those out. Are these shoes, I mentioned them in a haul, like my first video actually, my first ever video, I mentioned them. I have worn these so much. They are a little bit heavy because of the espadrille, but they're super comfortable. They have not rubbed, they have not given me a blister. They are super cute, and even though like, I actually normally don't wear a lot of closed toed shoes in the summer that aren't like gym shoes that I'm wearing to the gym. I usually rock open toe shoes all summer long. Like something about wearing a closed toe shoe in the summer feels wrong to me. But these ones I've been wearing a ton because they're just like, you know, kind of like a canvassy chambray-ish with an espadrille. So they just feel summer, they were meant for summer. And so they still have these at Target. I think they were like $25. And every time I go to Target, I look at the, they have a cream with like a black stripe version. And I'm like, do I need to get those? Do I need to get those? I don't need to get those. <laughs> so every time I'm talking myself out of it, and, I, and I'm not gonna get those. I've, you've heard it here, I'm not gonna get those, but maybe you should. Or these blush pink ones, which kind of go with everything. And I just wanted to let you know, because they're still there and they're awesome. I love them so much. Okay. Okay, so the last thing, totally switching gears here, is a book that I have from, um, I think his name is Paul Kalanithi, and it's uh, When Breath Becomes Air. Oh man, um, this is a heavy book, but it's not heavy. <laughs> it's emotionally heavy. It's definitely a, um, I bawled my eyes out at the end. It's a difficult book to get through. Paul was a neurosurgeon who was at the very end of his 10 year residency, which by the way, was an interesting thing, like to become a neurosurgeon, you have to go through 10 years of residency. That was interesting to me, but he was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer in his mid thirties, which is very rare. It's about like how he became a neurosurgeon and all of that. It's basically two chapters. Like the book is basically pre-cancer and post-cancer. And I read this book in under 24 hours. And it's probably because I went through a similar thing with um, my dad. My dad had stage four, we think it was lung cancer. We don't know what it was. It was actually too far along, but it was diagnosed as lung cancer, but we think that was incorrect, but it, that doesn't matter. Um, but this really hit home for me. And it's so much about, you know, he became a doctor so that he could help people face their own mortality at the end of life and sort of, help them through that and he ended up being the one discovering it and going through it himself. It's just really interesting when you have all these big plans for yourself and what you're going to do and then you know the the everlasting future becomes like questionable present and you're just living in the here and right now because you don't know what else is is ahead. And his story is so beautiful because not only did he go to school to become a neurosurgeon, he also like got a, a master's in writing. And so, and he was a big um, lover of classic books. And so his ability to tell a story in such a beautiful, like ugh, just such a beautiful way. I just can't even explain it. And I just want to get emotional thinking about it again. Oh, it was such a good book. And the ending will leave you weeping. And um, it's good. And so if you've ever known someone who went through a cancer journey or you yourself have, 
Um, I think you will really relate to this book and it might be really raw and difficult, but it's also really beautiful and um, yeah, I just loved it. I loved it. I didn't even really know what the book was about when I went to get it, but just because I saw so many people that I follow on Insta stories would be like, oh my God, I just got to the end of this book or like, I'm weeping at this ending or all this, you know, they would just post one sentence of this book and I was like, I gotta, I gotta get this book. Like, that's all. And so I did and it was beautiful and yeah, so that's it. Right, so that's everything that I have with you today. I've got this open right here and I just wanna eat it. So, all right, <laughs> that's everything I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you'll stick around to see the next one as well. All right, I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys later. Bye.